Hello, so let's go ahead and get started on the first module. Let's see. So whenever you log in um, to Blackboard, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this in student preview mode. So you can see, so I'll be able to see exactly what you see. And hopefully everything we wanna see is there. Yeah. So first of all, um, if you need to get a hold of me, um, probably the best way is on the far right top. This looks like a messaging bubble, which I'm gonna call it. Oh shoot, that's not it. Oh, sorry, email, try that one. Okay, you should be able to click on that and then you can, you know, find me and type in whatever message and I'll get that in my email. So that's probably the easiest way for you to, if you need help on anything, okay? Let me get back into student preview mode. Boom, 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 boom. Let's close out that and, one. Oh, that's what I needed to do. Okay, cool. So I'm student preview mode. Um, the stuff on the left, uh, you shouldn't really have to worry too much about. I'm not going to really be using Blackboard Collaborate. That's not my plan anyways. I've tried it before and it wasn't um, consistent enough. So if I do anything, it's usually Google Meets, but I'll let you know one way or the other. Um, let's see. I don't know if this is actually integrated with our attendance system, so I won't rely upon that. Um, groups, there's not going to be any groups, and there's not going to really be anything under this one. So the only thing you see right now, um, as of the recording of this video, is course one. So if you hit this little drop down, um, you'll see um, there's two folders, there's videos and syllabi. So all the videos like this one and the one that I made as the introduction are going to be in here. So if you open up this um, drop down arrow, you see, you'll see you'll you'll see that this is a link. Go ahead and right click, open link, new tab, and this is Loom. So Loom is the plat is the platform that I use to record videos. Um, I like it; it's easy enough to use, and I can get notifications whenever people watch them, which is nice. Um, so then all you would need to do is hit play. Good afternoon, everybody. So my name is okay, and then you know whatnot. Now, as I said in the introduction video, I may continue just sending you links to Loom or I may upload it in YouTube as an individual playlist. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing on that yet. Um, let's see. I'm kind of leaning towards YouTube, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, so the syllabi. Go ahead and click on that. And this is another link. I'm going to go ahead and right click, open link in a new tab. And it's the course, this, you know, this is the stuff created by Google. Um, I just kind of customized it a little bit for the syllabus purpose. And this is the content. So I'm not going to read everything verbatim to you, but you'll see that there's um, objectives for this course. Now there are, again, there are six, I believe six courses within this Google IT professional certification. I've had students get confused, like, well, they think, you know, they finished finish all the modules in course one that they're done. And that is incorrect. <laughs> There's six courses, I believe. So you gotta, there's six courses, you know. You'll get certificates of completion, I believe after every course is completed, those little micro achievements. But ultimately you want to earn the Google IT professional certification at the end of all six courses. Um, yeah. So uh, for this course level, it's the technical support fundamentals. Um, these are the objectives. Uh, understand how binary system works. Assemble computer from scratch. If you don't have a computer from scratch, if you don't have a computer to uh, disassemble and to reassemble, that's fine. Um, what I ask is for you to have something mechanical. It can be a toaster. It can be a remote. It could be an old phone. Um, it could be anything really that you're, that's, that's not going to hurt you. Obviously, if there's something in there that could hurt you. Um, like I was thinking maybe an old flat screen TV because that's what I have, but I've also been told like there's something in there that could hurt you. So don't do anything that's going to hurt you. But the, you know, just find something mechanical that you would have to take apart and that, you know, and try to put together. And, but you're not so much concerned if you can't put it back together. 
Um, if you have an old computer, great. If you're wanting to tear it apart, great. Um, if you don't, just find something mechanical. Um, if you don't have an old toaster or whatnot lying around, um, ask friends and family. If they have something, an old appliance, small kitchen appliance that they don't want anymore, can opener, electric can opener, something like that. Um, or you can go to your Goodwill or consignment shop, yard sales, whatever. Find something. Okay. So, but ultimately, I do want you to find something. It doesn't have to be a computer, but I want you to find something. Um, choose the, okay, uh, da, 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 choose an install and operating system on a computer. Understand what the internet is and how it works. So that's another one of the objectives. Learn how applications are created and how they work under the hood of a computer. Utilize common problem solving methodologies and soft skills in an um, IT setting. Soft skills are huge, like having empathy and customer service skills. And they'll go over that in this course. That is I've had employers tell me that they're more concerned about um, a graduate or student having soft skills as opposed to the hard skills. They're capable of the hard skills, but they know that they can teach them the hard skills. But if they don't have the soft skills, like the ability to learn, the ability to work with others, you know, just, you know, the ability to, I don't know, be what they want, kind of person that they want in their organization, um, then they, they're more concerned about that as opposed to the hard skills because they can teach the hard skills. Um, so here's some key terms and concepts. Um, you can read through those. Uh, the course content overview. So module one is an introduction to IT and there's 14 videos, one document and three quizzes. So I think I had brought this up last week when I did the short, like this is what we're going to be doing kind of video. Um, the how the and I may not have if I didn't, I, I can't remember. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, but there's going to be a composite of um, uh, curriculum, uh, curriculum created by Google. And it's going to have a combination of videos and uh, documentation to read and quizzes. Um, so, you know, they can go through the, you can read through that um, introduction to IT, hardware, operating systems, networking, software, and troubleshooting. So there's six modules within course one. So these are discussion questions and this will be this I will have more instructions on the assignments um, by the beginning of next week. Like I said, you know, I just got access to this on Blackboard yesterday and haven't got everything in there because I couldn't. Um, but I will be putting that stuff, your assignments in um, by the beginning of next week, if not by tomorrow. Um, Probably beginning of next week. Let's just kind of go for the beginning of next week. Um, so, but you can go ahead and read through these. But these are going to be the assignments, and I'll have um, due dates um, within Blackboard. You can, oh, you know, but these are the topics and these are the questions that we'll be going over. If you want to, as my recommendation is actually, as you're going through, say, example for module two, you'll know that overclocking is going to be discussed in question. You might want to pay more attention to it. You might want to kind of think of these questions and. Think of that as you're learning it and then, you know, apply what you learn to the discussion, uh, discussion questions. Um, let's see. Some have more than others. Like I think there's a couple that only have one. Yeah, like module three only has one. Um, some have more. Some like module six has four. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. In each course guide, we made suggestions to table below for optional projects and activities to reinforce critical concepts and introduce often to your learners. So this is our stuff to the teachers. Um, this can be done as a standalone projects, but we think some of them, okay. So I don't necessarily know yet how I'm going to, what I'm going to make as a requirement or um, optional. And the grading, ultimately you want your grade to be what Google gives you. So there's not really a grading factor that I can give in Blackboard because um, not that I'm aware of anyways, I, I might be wrong on that. We'll figure it out. Um, but these, um, we'll figure it out as we get closer, like when we get into module two, I see I'll find out exactly what I want us to do and what the grading requirement is on that. Because I do believe that the only really grading requirement for you to get your Google um, professional certification is completing like, you know, the videos, the quizzes, the labs, and ultimately like there's a final exam ish kind of thing. Um, those are the things that's going to get you to your 
certification, Google IT professional certification. This is going to help out with that, obviously. But I don't know. I haven't quite figured out what how I'm doing that. Um, but by the time we get to model tool, I'll have a better idea. Especially with this being a remote class and everybody on their own kind of time frame. And eh, I don't. I'm, we're, I'm going to kind of see how it flows. So quiz grading, um, so there's some information about that. N note that all graded quizzes and hands-on labs require passing grades in order for the learners to complete the course and the full program and get your certification. Um, graded quizzes are time bound um, and there's some information about the quizzes, okay? Um, course one, writing assignments. It says all courses except for course three have required writing assignments that learners must complete in order to complete the program. The writing assignment in course one appears in module six. Um, so you can read that. So there's going to be some writing assignments, which is important because one of the things that you're going to be doing as an IT tech is communicating with somebody who needs IT help. Okay. And part of that communication is going to be writing. <laughs> Be able to write, um, be able to write, you know, have good, decent to good grammar, um, be able to talk at somebody, talk with, explain something to somebody at their level and not like, you know, at a higher level of understanding whenever they don't have that kind of tech background. Communication is key. So it's important that, um, yeah, it's important. Um, let's see, hands on lab, um, FAQs and troubleshooting. Do you do need a computer and you do need, let's say good, decent to good, preferably good internet access. I don't even know how well this will work on decent. So you need good, I'm just gonna say good internet access. You may get lucky and might work on decent internet access. So if you don't have it at home, you just need to make, you know, make the plans to do it at the library or do it on campus if you know, you're on campus or whatever it is that you're able to have um, good to decent preferably good internet access. And there's been times that I've went to McDonald's and spent the day at McDonald's, had my breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. You do what you gotta do. Um, let's see, how many, okay, da, da, da. A uh, Chromebook does work. There's not really any kind of tech specifications. It does work. It's a little bit different. Chromebook is a little bit different. If you have a Chromebook, let me know. It's just so I'm aware that you have something a little bit different. Uh, other than that, there's not really any kind of tech requirements. I mean, you just need the PC. It's got a keyboard and you know whatnot. An iPad, I don't think would work on this. I don't believe. I was positive it won't. Um, let's see, talks about how many times you can, you know, uh, attempt a lab, um, how much time, how are labs scored. If you can have any technical difficulties, um, you might just need to reach out to Google. Um, I don't know what I'd be able to help with. Um, if it's navigating Blackboard, that's me. If you're on the Quick Labs platform, or you're watching the videos, or you're doing something, or, you know, the labs, um, I may be able to help, but my first my first recommendation for you to actually use that chat because I might not be able to help and you might be waiting for me to, you know, try to help you whenever I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the answer in your best or bet, your best or bet, your better bet was to, you know, reach out to the chat. Um, course one will only be marked as complete as um, if all required items have been completed by the learner, including graded items. I'm sorry, graded quizzes, hands-on labs, videos, and documents. Um, so you'll know that it didn't say anything about that optional stuff that we mentioned earlier. Again, I haven't quite figured out how I want to do all of that. We'll see as we go along. A green check mark will appear next to the course item, indicating that it has been marked as complete. Um, the videos and the documents are marked as complete uh, by virtue of a learner clicking into that course item and clicking mark as complete. So you do, I do remember you do have to mark something as complete. Um, learners do not need to complete or pass practice quizzes in order to formally complete the course. So there you go. Um, let's see. Let's go back into here. So that was the syllabus. So let's see how, go ahead and close that. This right here is how you're actually going to access, um, the labs. Go ahead and hit launch. It'll look like that. And then you're going to be coming into something called Quick Labs. Now, I do not think that I have a student preview mode on this. I haven't seen it yet. If I do, again, just got access yesterday. Um, but 
We'll figure it out. Um, okay, so you see course activities now under students. I don't see anybody. Now, it could be because you haven't logged in yet and created your account. I don't know. Um, once you get logged in and create your account, um, please message me, email me, or whatever on Blackboard. Um, so I know to look to make sure that you're actually in there. Okay. So again, this is technical, this is instructor resources, so I'm assuming you don't have access to that. And as far as I know, I don't know how to see a student preview mode. As far as I know, you have access to everything here because I have the option, as you can see, activate all or deactivate all. I just went ahead and activate it all right now. In the future, um, courses, like in course two and whatnot, I may not activate them all on one blow like this. For this purpose right here, I did because I'm still figuring it out. Um, at the pace and everything. So I'm assuming you're going to have access because this, uh, this does not look like anything unique to the instructor. And these are videos. And these, these are well done videos. These are like short, not too long where you like you lose your attention span. Um, where's my video not playing? Okay, I think you have to hit that. There we go. There's a big problem in the world right now. Okay, so I'm not gonna have you guys watch that with me. Watch it on your own. And then you can actually, one of the nice things about this platform is the fact that it has transcript. So I am hearing impaired. I want to go ahead and hit play. But there are hundreds. Uh -huh. um, I am hearing impaired, and I'm big on visually reading. Okay, well, this is not doing what I thought it was going to do. Never mind. But I'm big on visually reading, and you can actually read this. Um, so whatever is best for you, audio and reading along, just pure audio and watching him, just purely reading, whatever works best for you. You know, you have that option. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. And then there's another video. And just remember, it looks like you got to click this button, open act activity on the far top right. So, da da da. And then um, right here says Google IT support cert certificate entry survey. So, looks like you got to do that again. Looks like everything you got to do on that. Um, survey. Oh, shoot. Why are you not doing it? Why are you blah, blah, blah. Ah. I don't know why that's denying me access. If you get it's denying you access as well, please let me know. I don't know. It's because I'm a teacher. There's too many variables where I can't really make a conclusive hypothesis as to why it's happening. I don't know. But you try it, and if you can't get it, then you let me know, and then I'll do a little bit more um troubleshooting because I don't know how big of a problem that is. Um, and then in some more videos, uh, talks about, um, it's just instructional videos. Um, there are some that are about, um, they highlight a particular person in their career path. Then there's documents. Let's look at that document. Yes. Okay. So it's a PDF. Uh, maybe. Okay, so this looks actually to a link to Wikipedia. Okay. Some are PDFs. I don't know. Like I said, in the old platform, it looked a little bit different. Let's see. Okay. Looks like you should be able to access that. Okay. Um, let's find another document. Oh, we already did that one. Um, and this is like the mark has completed. So once you finish reading it, you would mark up here as completed. Uh, let's see, what does that do? Wikipedia. So it looks like this goes to next to Wikipedia. I don't know if they're all like that. Um, 
No. Okay. So they're taking you to external resources, which isn't necessarily bad. I mean, at least you're able to find resources and then you might take a deeper dive of what those resources provide outside the, you know, assigned reading. Um, okay. That's pretty much it, you know, videos and reading and quizzes and all that stuff. Um, again, this is all course one. This are six modules within course one. And then you'll see a course wrap up. Um, and more, we'll, we'll, we'll go, I'll, bleh, I can't talk. What I'd like you to do is make sure you can access everything that I'm showing you. If you can't access it, you need to let me know so I can, you know, get all the moving parts to this together again to figure out, you know, what we need to do to get you access. If you can't get access, let me know. First thing to do is make sure after you get done watch this video, make sure you have access. Um, and then just start, you know, going through this stuff, you know, on the far left. Okay. Start with the introduction to IT, history of computing. And when it comes to deadlines are meant to keep us, um, let's see, to prevent us from procrastination. I can't think of the right word that I'm looking for. I'm just going to say prevent us from, from procrastinating. That's what deadlines that I'm going to impose upon you is expected to do. Okay. Um, don't want you to fret. I don't want you to get anxiety if you can't meet those deadlines because I'm going to be flexible on the deadlines. But as I said in the introduction video, you know, if you can't make it in six months, that's fine. Seven months is fine. It's, it's not like a traditional class here at Hawking College. Having said that, I don't really want it to go to a year because past experiences have shown that if I say you have a year, then they wait until the very last minute. And that's not what we want to do. Okay. Um, so next week I'll have more of a structure on like deadlines, expectations, some, you know, what, what we're going to be doing, you know, through all these modules in course one. Um, right now, feel free to explore it. Go ahead and get started on it. Um, cause you'll see green check marks. Um, you know, a, you know, show up somewhere. Again, this platform is different than previous, but somewhere there should be green check marks to show that you're making progress. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for this particular video. And we'll go from there. If you have questions, ask. This, this whole interface is new than what they had previously. So there's a learning curve for me. If I'm overlooking something, I need you to let me know. I cannot help you if I don't know. Um, okay, so enjoy, learn. It's learning is fun. Hopefully you're enjoying this class. I'm going to enjoy teaching it. Talk to you guys later.